So at the very start of 2020, Mobvoi launched the new Tick Pods 2 and Tick Pods 2 Pro. This is the Pro model that costs you 120 quid, which means they're a little bit cheaper than the likes of the Jabra Elite 75Ts, although a bit more pricey than the likes of the Creative Outlet Eagles and several other true wireless earbuds as well. But they do pack a lot of really cool premium features. I've been testing out the Tick Pods 2 Pro for just over a week now, using them as my full-time headphones. And here is my in-depth review. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. Now, first up, you'll notice that the Tick Pods 2 Pro support a very similar design to last year's Tick Pods 3, and this is probably my primary beef with these things overall. So first up, you still have this silly AirPod style dangly stalk thing, uh, which kind of looks a bit untidy compared with a lot of the pill-shaped true wireless earbuds that you get these days. There is actually a reason for it. It does have a dual mic setup and also a swipe touch system, which I'll touch on in a bit, but I'm definitely more of a fan of the more compact earbuds. Apart from that though, they look absolutely fine. You've got a choice of three colors as well. You've got this navy blue option and you've also got white and pink or ice and blossom as Mobvoi turns them because you can't just give these things normal names. You have to call them something silly. And the TickPods 2 Pro are full IPX4 splash resistant as well. So no worries if you're using them out in the rain as I discovered yesterday Day. and also if you're getting a bit of a sweat on doing a bit of jogging or something like that you don't have to worry about them being corrupted however and this is my other major bugbear with the tick pods is the fact that you don't get a soft flexible silicone tip instead you get this hard scratchy surface just like last year's efforts those scrapey tips definitely do not feel particularly comfortable especially if you're taking the tick pods 2 pro in and out of your ears throughout the day i felt like my inner ears did get a little bit sore and tender as a knock-on effect of that the tick pods 2 pro didn't feel particularly secure inside of my ear holes but thankfully there was no movement or uh, dropping out while I was jogging down the pavement, anything like that. And to prove that they are fit for purpose, mosh test. I had no problem connecting the TickPods 2 Pro to my smartphone either, even when I'm connected to a new device when they're already connected to something else. All you need to do is just double push this little button inside the case. They will unpair and then they'll be ready for action again. And where the TickPods 2 Pro really excel is the super flexible and deep level of control that they offer, either hands-on or hands-off. So first up, like most true wireless earbuds, you've got a full complement of touch controls. These are vaguely customizable. You can do a double tap action, which you can customize to either play and pause your music or skip a track. You can also adjust the volume by sliding your finger up or down that stem and you could of course answer and reject calls as well. And I found this all works absolutely fine. Sometimes it does take me a couple of attempts to actually get that double tap to work uh, but the volume sliding certainly seems to work absolutely fine every time. No worries at all. And also if you yank one of the TickPod 2 Pro Buds out of your lug hole then it will automatically pause whatever you're listening to as well and then resume again once you shove them back in so that's really helpful. And if you upgrade to the Pro models of the TickPod 2 then one of the benefits Benefits of that upgrade is full voice controls. So at any point you can say, hey Tico, skip track. However, I did notice that with some smartphones, including the likes of the Huawei P30 Pro, that that voice control would only work if the Mobvoi app was actually front and center. Otherwise, unfortunately, it just didn't work at all. So, hey Tico, no worries at all there. Let's just minimize the app. Hey Tico, bugger all. Hopefully this is just a little quirk, a little bug that Mobvoi is going to iron out with future patches and updates. You can actually update the uh, the Buds firmware and everything via the app, which is good to see. And in addition to the voice controls, the touch controls, you also get head gesture controls as well. So if you're receiving a call on your smartphone, you can decide either to accept their call or give them a big fat nope. And these features could all be activated, deactivated, and in some cases customized via the Mobvoi app as well, which is great to see. So basically the Mobvoi TickPods 2 Pro can give you a level of control, a flexibility, that most of the true wireless earbuds simply can't even touch upon. It's a shame the voice controls were a little bit touch and go, but as I say, hopefully that'll be sorted in an update. As far as the actual audio quality goes, absolutely no complaints whatsoever with the TickPods 2 Pro. For a start, the call quality is absolutely fantastic. You've got a dual mic design, so basically you've got one mic to pick up your voice and another mic to pick up all of the surrounding ambient sound and then block that out for your call. As a result, I found that I could have a call, even in quite a noisy environment, a high street and so on, and the other person at the other end of the line picked up uh, exactly what I was saying without having to repeat myself or anything like that. And as far as the sound quality goes for listening to music, audiobooks, podcasts, all that sort of thing, again, no real complaints. At the lower end of the scale could use a little bit more power. Uh, so if you're listening to rock music, uh, hip hop, dance, things like that, the bass could use a little bit more grunt just to give it a real forceful feel. But that's just my own personal opinion. The mids and the highs are well represented. And I found that if you're listening to something uh, vocal, like a podcast or an audio book, the voice comes through nice and crisp and clear. Uh, so yeah, so definitely pretty strong on that side. However, 
However, if you are going to be using these true wireless earbuds out and about in the big bad world quite a lot, then you might want to think twice about the TickPods 2 Pro because there's absolutely nothing in the way of noise cancellation or isolation as well because of that firm, solid tip. A proper silicone tip on a true wireless earbud helps to really drown out the surrounding noise, even if it doesn't have proper noise cancellation built in. Unfortunately, when you've got a firm tip like this, it doesn't fit to your lug hole and therefore it doesn't do anywhere near as good a job at blocking out all of that noise. So I found if I was next to a busy road, for instance, I'd really have to boost the volume on whatever I was listening to in order to combat that traffic sound, especially if I was listening to an audio book or a podcast where you have to really pay attention, listen to every word. But on the flip side, it does mean that you do have a good amount of environmental awareness Awareness. So I suppose if you're going to be listening to something while you're cycling, for instance, you need to know what's going on around you, then they are good for that. And absolutely no worries as far as the Bluetooth 5 connection is concerned as well. I found that even if I left my smartphone downstairs and I wandered upstairs, still had a nice strong stable connection or stuttering or static and absolutely fine went out and about as well. When I first started testing the TickPods 2 Pro, my music did mysteriously pause a couple of times without me touching the buds or seeing Hey Tico or anything like that. Uh, but that seemed to be teething issues and after that, no problems at all. And if you watch a lot of video on the go as well, the great news is that the TickPods 2 Pro have full AppDeck support as well. So no issues with syncing between uh, the sound and what you're seeing on your screen. Although you have to actually enable this feature via the Mobvoi app, so you will have to download that. And now let's talk about battery life. And Mobvoi reckons you'll get up to four hours of use from the TickPods 2 Pro once you yank them out of the case and shove them in your lug holes. Unfortunately, I found that wasn't quite the case. I was a bit optimistic. I actually got closer to three hours of use each time. Now, unfortunately, that is pretty limited performance compared with a lot of especially more modern true wireless earbuds. For instance, the Creative Outlay Golds, which I recently reviewed, can go for between 10 to 12 hours on a single charge before you need to shove them back in the case. And of course, three hours of use is absolutely fine for a long commute, things like that. But if you are going to be wearing them for, you know, a good chunk of a day or for a long flight, for instance, something like that, it's going to be annoying having to constantly put them back in the case to recharge them. Thankfully, the TickPods 2 Pro do support fast charging as well. Uh, Mobvoi reckons you'll get an hour of use from just five minutes of recharge time in the case. I timed it and did exactly five minutes. I found I got closer to 40 to 45 minutes of use but that's still pretty good and i found that shipping them in that case generally give you around three to four full recharges of the TickPods 2 pro before the case itself needs recharging which thankfully can be done via type c usb and i've got to say i do absolutely adore the dinky mobvoi TickPods 2 pro charging case as well it's very very compact so perfect for just slipping the tick pods back into and then you can just slap that into your back pocket or whatever when the tick pods aren't in use class bit shut and some handy little leds will show you when the tick pods themselves are actually charging and also give you a clue a heads up when the actual case itself needs recharging definitely very compact and very lovable indeed and i love the fact that it's the same color as the actual tick pods as well so it all matches all very nicely and neatly um, so that's what i think of the tick pods 2 pro after using them as my full-time headphones for just over a week not one of my my favorite true wireless earbuds unfortunately they've got very strong uh, controls the fact that you've got the uh, the voice controls as well as the touch controls the gesture controls and everything is fantastic nice little design it's just a shame that you don't have those proper silicone soft touch tips in order to make them really comfortable to wear for prolonged amounts of time and of course that would also help with the noise isolation as well which would be great if you're using them out and about quite a lot so are you tempted by the TickPods 2 Pro? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts down below. And don't forget to ding that notifications bell, hit subscribe, and have yourselves a lovely bloody week, people. Cheers.